Hello students, welcome to the new lecture and in this lecture we are going to discuss about changes in the ecosystem. So till now we have discussed about the habitat, okay, how the organisms are interacting with the uh, physical environment and so on. It means the living interact, the interaction between living organisms and also non-living things. So that is about the ecosystem, habitat, everything etc. that we have discussed up to now. So now in this lecture we are going to discuss about the changes in the ecosystem, mangroves and so on. So the first topic is the changes in the ecosystem. What is meant by change? Change means which is not, the change is nothing but so some kind of differences in the ecosystem that is known as change in the ecosystem. So first of all what is meant by ecosystem? Ecosystem is nothing but the interaction between the living organisms and also non-living things or you can define in this way also ecosystem is the interaction between biotic and abiotic components that is also known as ecosystem both are correct so here the organisms affect their environment to meet their demands so what is meant by meat meat is nothing but to reach their needs to meet to reach their requirements they are going to affect their environment for example if you see human beings human beings are going to do all the necessary things to meet their needs like uh, for the production of the food material to increase the food material what they are going to do they are going to do, do the deforestation so they will do the deforestation so for the paper they will cut the trees and they will make the paper etc so it means whatever the requirements are there to meet their requirements they are going to affect the environment not only that some organisms shows effect on other organisms by by doing something like uh, overfeeding or killing organisms etc for example if you see the tigers are there okay the tigers so these tigers are going to feed on the deers okay they are going to feed on the deers so what happens over here the population of the deers are in the control so why the population of the deers are in the control why because here yeah, the tigers are feeding them okay so it means these tigers or the organisms they are going to show effect on the other populations like deers example okay so this is the way how the healthy ecosystem is maintaining what is meant by health of the ecosystem health of the ecosystem is nothing but maintenance of all different species population in a normal way that is known as health okay so it is measured by interaction between the prey and predator here you can see the tiger is a prey or the tiger is a predator okay and also deer is a prey okay so the interaction between these organisms are there not only tigers but also cat and also mouse next cat and dog uh, snake and uh, eagle etc so between these organisms there is interaction and there is a feeding relationship so as a result the health of the ecosystem is maintained okay the health of the ecosystem is main maintained and it is measured by interaction between the prey and predator it means so you can call it as between the interaction between the predator and also prey both are same so here the overfeeding reduces the balance in the ecosystem so for example if the tigers are eating the uh, deers in a normal way it is okay but what happens if the tigers kill more amount of the deers than the natural than the than the required uh, thing so what happens if there is more drastic decrease of the deers population as a result it is going to show some kind of effect on the ecosystem so it is nothing but the balance is reducing so the balance is reducing in the ecosystem why because the population of the deers is decreasing drastically because of the killing of the tigers so this is due this is one of the unhealthy ecosystem or it is nothing but the loss of balance in the ecosystem but after some time okay the population may restore okay instead of deer's population some uh, uh, dog population may come or fox population may come or whatever it may be some organisms are going to come to this ecosystem and they are going to develop their population and increase their population by this way the ecosystem again they may restore okay so they would get affected adversely and may show or restore the organisms okay so what happens if the overfeeding increasing what happens if the overfeeding occurs so after some time after a few days or after a few months the tigers do not have enough food amount enough amount of food material to eat as a result these tigers has to move away from the forest they have to move to the other forest or they have to move to the other place for the food okay this is the 
this is the act this is the main action done in the ecosystem okay ecosystem may get destroyed by the natural calamities natural calamities and also human activities natural calamities is are is, these are nothing but the problems that arise due to the nature okay that is known as natural calamities so those problems are tsunami earthquakes etc these all are the natural what is meant by natural the problems which is coming from the uh, nature that is known as natural calamities that is tsunami earthquakes etc they are the natural calamities but there are some artificial artificial uh, problems that is nothing but activities of human beings the are human activities so human beings are going to do such kind of a disaster that is known as artificial so example forest fires pollution etc so forest fires are nothing but the some people will ignite fire okay mostly the people will ignite fire in the forest and uh, as a result the entire forest will be in burning condition okay this is the forest fire it is also natural this is also artificial and pollution the human beings are burn a lot amount of fossil fuels by burning the fossil fuels the pollutants are getting increased in the environment as the pollution increases what happens these pollutants or the particles of the pollution will mix with the air and this is going to cause some kind of problem in the uh, human beings and problem in the uh, some uh, some animals okay so it is artificial so here the biosphere ecologists say that ecologists means the person who study about the ecology they are known as ecologists they said that the biosphere can be classified into uh, into different ecosystems based on the various aspects first of all what is meant by biosphere biosphere is nothing but the earth the earth which is covered with the plants okay and also living organisms that is known as biosphere you can see in the in the earth you will see such kind of structure so they will show the green color over there okay green color spots on the earth or globe okay that is known as biosphere so here the ecologists say that the biosphere can be classified into different ecosystems based on the various aspects remember biosphere is nothing but wherever there is the living organisms that is known as biospheres okay the biosphere on the earth is nothing but the living organisms on the earth is known as biosphere okay so the biosphere is classified in different different way, uh, ecosystems various aspects that we will discuss in this flow chart okay the types of ecosystem so the types of ecosystem is nothing but the different uh, that uh, dif different types of ecosystems are developed in different ways in which lead to the different types of ecosystem okay so this flow chart is going to explain the different types of ecosystem okay so ecosystem may be natural or artificial what is meant by natural ecosystem natural means by the nature okay by the nature this ecosystem is present that is known as natural ecosystem so next the artificial ecosystem means the human beings human beings are going to produce a such kind of ecosystem or they are going to create such kind of ecosystem that is known as artificial ecosystem so for example if you see the seas and oceans the seas and oceans are uh, and in your home there is an aquarium okay there is a aquarium or there is a garden okay so what is meant by aquarium a small glass a small uh, glass chamber where you will pour some amount of water you will release some kind of uh, small tiny plants and also fishes in it that is known as aquarium can you see over there in the aquarium the living organisms like fishes are there and some at the same time some bacteria are there some plants are there so it is a aquarium it is a it is a ecosystem in your garden you will grow some kind of plants okay so if you grow some plants what will happen the plants will uh, produce flowers and these flowers these flowers uh, are attracting the butterflies honeybees etc okay here also you can see the plants are there okay earthworms are there in the soil and at the same time the butterflies honeybees are going to come to that area that is forming a ecosystem so this is this is artificial you are creating this and the seas and oceans seas and oceans what about it the seas and oceans they have the animals okay it has a water and it has some kind of plants microorganisms everything is there in the seas and oceans it is also ecosystem it is created by you this aquarium garden is created by you it is known as artificial 
द सीज ओशियंस एंड ह्यूज वाटर बॉडीज दे आर मेड बाय द नेचर बाय नेचुरल बाय नेचर दे आर प्रेजेंट हेंस इट इज नोन एज नेचुरल इकोसिस्टम ओके अगेन नेचुरल इकोसिस्टम कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम एंड आल्सो एक्वाटिक इकोसिस्टम व्हाट इज टेरेस्ट्रियल terrestrial is nothing but the land okay that's the ecosystem which is present on the land is known as terrestrial ecosystem next is the aquatic ecosystem aqua means water so i have seen aqua purifier okay aqua purifier means it is a purifier that will purify the water that is known as aqua purifier in the same way aquatic ecosystem means the ecosystem which is present in the water the word aqua or aquatic refers to the water okay so terrestrial ecosystem is of different types again in the terrestrial ecosystem you will see the grasslands grass eco grassland ecosystem forest ecosystem and also there is desert ecosystem so grassland ecosystem is nothing but grassland ecosystem is nothing but it is a place where you will see different kinds of different kinds of herbs shrubs different trees and so on small small trees and so on that is known as grassland ecosystem in the forest ecosystem is nothing but the forest the forest is a place in the forest you will see different kinds of uh, trees and also plants and animals etc so that is known as forest ecosystem desert ecosystem is nothing but in the desert there are some plants and few animals are there that is known as desert ecosystem and coming to aquatic ecosystem you will see the fresh water the water is of two types whether it may be fresh water or it may be salt water so if uh, if the aquatic aquatic ecosystem is a fresh water containing it is known as a fresh water ecosystem and if the ecosystem is uh, salty it means if the water is salty and in that the ecosystem is there that is known as marine ecosystem marine water means salt water okay so here all these ecosystems are connected to a common thing that is known as detritus detritus ecosystem okay so it means these are the organisms they are going to decompose okay the in the grasslands the trees and trees will die uh, animals will die in the forest also the trees and animals will die in the desert also the same thing the fresh water also the uh, the fishes and aquatic organisms will die and so on so all these dead organisms or dead matter will be decomposed and they will mix the nutrients again into the soil they are known as detritus organisms they are or they are known as decomposers so that system comes under the detritus system okay so next is living community interacts with a physical environment called envir ecosystem what is meant by ecosystem we have discussed in the previous classes ecosystem is nothing but so the interaction between the living and non living things here the living organisms are going to interact with the physical or you can call it as a non living environment that is known as ecosystem ecosystem may be natural or artificial okay what is meant by natural natural means which is made by the nature artificial means which is made by the human being that is known as uh, artificial and at the same time the ecosystem, ecosystem may be temporary okay temporary means it may present today tomorrow or day for tomorrow and after that they, that may not present or day for tomorrow it may vanish okay that is known as temporary temporary means only short period of time that is known as temporary so permanent means it will be as it is for longer per period of time example seas and oceans like fresh water ecosystem marine water ecosystem that is known as permanent means it will stay over there for longer period of time okay before your birth that ecosystem was there when you are living that ecosystem is there and in the future also the sea ecosystem is there and so on okay whether you are living or not or whether we are alive or dead this this ecosystem is present okay that is known as permanent okay ecosystem is defined as a functional unit of nature okay so next the mangroves ecosystem okay mangroves are nothing but these are the forests that grow in the low depths of the water uh, water after the sea shores okay so that is known as mangroves so let us consider this is the sea okay or oceans on the ocean there are some plants there are some plants and these plants are going to live in the sea shores so in this region there is mangroves okay the water content so it, it is present that is known as mangroves in this region in this region there are different species different species are going to live in that area okay like fishes are going to live algae bacteria small small aquatic animals everything is going to live in that area okay so that is known as mangroves so the importance of the mangroves is 
they are going to serve as important feeding nourishment okay this is not uh, this is the wrong word okay this is nourishment so what is meant by nourishment nourishment is nothing but providing food material or feeding that is known as nourishment so next is the breeding grounds for the endangered species what well, these mangroves are nothing but a forest near the seashores they are going to provide they are going to provide some kind of food material and also they are going to feed the animals not only that these mangroves are going to protect the endangered ground endangered species okay endangered species means if any species like fish or any organism is going to about to extinct so if it is present in this region there is a maximum chance of survival and maximum rate of increasing their population okay next here we have the koringa mangroves koringa mangroves in the uh, in the andhra pradesh okay especially visakhapatnam so the name koringa mangrove is given because of this river is situated on the south of koringa river okay so the in near to the kakinada bay about 150 kilometers of south of visakhapatnam so there are different species okay about 5 lakh to 10 million marine species are there okay so that these many few these many species are there and in that also there are diversities as high as the 1000 percent square uh, uh, 1000 per, per square meters in the indo specific oceans and new space new oceanic species are there so and they are going to continuously discovered being discovered means the new species are coming the scientists are finding the new species and they are discovering the new species okay this is about the ecosystem okay next the biotic component biotic components are nothing but living components okay so here in the biotic component you will see the different uh, th things like producers consumers and decomposers so what is maybe producers producers are nothing but any organisms that will produce some kind of a food material that is known as producers here you can see the mangroves in the mangroves uh, we can see different organisms so they are going to produce a food material it means by, by a process known as photosynthesis not only that spirogyra oscillataria eulothrix etc these all are the producers in the mangroves ecosystem so next the consumers in that also you will see the aquatic organisms aquatic animals like shrimps crab hydra protozoans etc these all are the consumers they are going to feed on the producers okay next the decomposers decomposer means these are the organisms decomposers means these are the organisms that will decompose decompose other uh, other uh, dead organic matter like plant material animal uh, dead bodies etc so these decomposers will decompose and they will mix the materials again back into the soil okay that is known as the important uh, function of the decomposers okay example here you can see abiotic components includes in the in it abiotic comp components includes marine and also fresh water air temperature sunlight soil etc they are the abiotic components these are the biotic biotic means that will have organisms that will have life is known as biotic abiotic means these are these are the substances they do not have life that is known as abiotic component okay or abiotic components okay and in the next lecture we will discuss about the desert ecosystem okay and i hope this lecture is helpful to you and if you have any doubts or questions or suggestions feel free to post in the comment section and we will uh, we will answer to your questions and so on okay and we will discuss the next topic in the next lecture okay